name said it, but you can just call me Jamie. And welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be discussing something a little different, something more close to me, close to my heart. And it's going to be about seven lessons I learned since turning 40 plus. I think you will find this video relatable for the ones that are in their 40s or nearing their 40s. I just want to say welcome to my new subscribers. If you're new to this channel over here, I do lifestyle and travel content. So if that's your cup of tea, go ahead and you hit that subscribe button, like this video, comment down below to let me know you are a new subscriber. And for my returning subscribers, hey, what's up my babies? Okay, so you came back because you enjoy it over here. You enjoy it over here. But like I say, let's get into this week's video. So first thing we're going to start off with is embracing change. So I just want to reflect back to when I'm in my 20s and 30s. So back when I was in my 20s, I was still navigating life. I was previously in the military. I want to say in my young 20s, I was in the military. I had a daughter at the time, her name, which is India. Her name is India. And I was still navigating life before I got married at that time. Still doing, well, what I wanna say, I didn't really get to really enjoy my early 20s at the time because at that time I was, in the beginning stages, I was married at that time. So I don't really necessarily get to say in my early 20s that I really got to in, enjoy my 20s but probably fast forward to my later 20s when I got a divorce that's when I really got to enjoy my 20s and by that time I had had my second son so I had my daughter India and then I had my son Joshua so by that time that's once I got a divorce I really got to enjoy my 20s and still trying to figure out things as a single mother and then I got to my 30s and then that's what I say I got married for a second time and then that's when I had my second youngest two and I'm still navigating I'm still trying to figure things out I don't have it all together I'm still trying to figure out life but once I've hit this incoming embracing change once I started getting to my 40s, that's when I started to realize it's coming up on me quick. And like I said, I still don't have it all. I'm still learning things. I'm still learning what I like. So I'm still trying to get used to hitting my 40s and basically enjoying my 40s and let things flow. Like I, like I said, I don't have all of the answers. I'm still learning at this point that I've, I've, I've embraced that I'm finally for 40 because once I hit 40, well, really once I hit 41 like a week or two ago, I, I cry because I'm like, okay, I can't go back and change the hands of time. So it, it is what it is. I just got to let it flow. You're going to, I'm getting older. I'm not getting younger. So I need to embrace Hey, you're getting older, you're getting more graceful. So I don't know if you can relate to that or if you understand what I'm saying, but I've learned at this stage in my life, you have to embrace it. You have to learn that and to accept that the change is inedible. You, like I said, you can't go backwards. You have to go forward. You're, you're getting older. You're not getting any younger. A lot of the things that I realized that I used to do in my 20s and 30s, you got to grow up. You can't do those things in your 40s, which some, depending on the situation, you possibly can. But you got to realize now that I'm in my 40s, things change. I have to embrace it. I have to just let it go. I've already cried. I've already said the things like, oh, I wish I was younger again. I wish I could do because I wish I could do a lot of things over that. I, if I could go back and change the past, I would change a lot of things. The things that I did in the past, my 20s, I would change it totally. If I could recreate my life, I, I would. Like a lot of the mistakes I made in my 20s and 30s, because that's what you're doing. You're making mistakes in your 20s and 30s. If I could go back and change those things, I would. The things that I did 
in the mistakes that I made, I wouldn't have made those mistakes. Like some of the you know, people that I married, I wouldn't have married them. If I could see my future, I, I wouldn't have married them. I, I would have took a whole totally different route, but I'm learning to accept and embrace the change, embrace that I am getting older and it is what it is. Now we're gonna talk about health and wellness. Ooh, Jesus. So I have learned at my age that my body is changing. I've learned to accept that my body is changing. So I need to have my behind in the gym. I know that I need to be working out some type of way because you know, like I said back then when you're in your 20s and 30s, the things that you could do and eat you could do those things. But now that I'm older, some of the things that I could eat, I can't eat anymore. I know I need to be in the gym working out, either working out in the gym, walking, doing some type of Pilates, because now that I'm older, I feel those things. Just for example, when I went to Dragacon a week ago, and that vlog is dropping Thursday, so check it out. When I went to Dragon a week ago, I parked in the parking garage and I was parked on the eighth floor. So basically we didn't catch an elevator to get down to where we needed to be. We ended up walking up the stairs, walking, go, leaving out, walking down, and then we had to come back up the stairs. I realized that I needed to have my behind in the gym when I got to the fourth floor and I was breathing hard as hell. You hear me? I was breathing hard as hell and that ain't make no dang, that ain't make no sense right there. That did not make no sense how hard I was breathing and that goes to show me you need to be in the gym. You're getting older. You can't do the things that you used to do. The body needs to be moving. You need to be moving some type of way. So I think being in a gym is very important. It's also making sure that you prioritize your self-care. Put yourself first. Don't sit there and be like, oh, so needs this done. No, you put yourself first. You're always gonna come first. When you dead and gone, them same people that needed your help is gonna find somebody else to do it. So make sure you prioritize, put yourself first, Go get your facials. Go get your nails and toes done. If you're a man and you're in your 40s, if you go to the barber on your little routine, go do those things. Put yourself first. You come first at the end of the day, especially when it comes to these jobs. Put yourself first, because at the end of the day, you will be replaced. So put yourself first. Next, we're gonna talk about prioritizing relationships. And when it comes to relationships, whether you're in a relationship or friendship, it's a whole new meaning to me when it comes to that. I have no friends at my age because friends, a lot of times friends can take a toll on your mental health and I'm not pressed to be in bad relationships because that can take a toll on your mental health. I feel like if a person is in your life and they don't mean you no, get rid of them. Get rid of them ASAP. I said my self-care and my mental health comes first don't let no one who don't mean you no good and remember i'm saying this who don't mean you no good in your life bring you out of character okay get rid of them if you're trying to see yourself progress and this person is always oh got something to say or they are how i want to say it that i've had friends and I'm gonna start with the friends. I've had friends, like, if I do something, they got to do it or they got to do it better. I don't need nobody in my life like that. I don't like that. I don't need no friends like who I feel like I'm competing with, all right? Because I, I, and then you, I also had those friends who always want to know your business but don't want to tell you their business. I'm not pressed for no friends, especially at my age. I'm pressed for them. And then also when it comes to relationships, when it comes to relationships, I don't need nobody in my life who don't mean me no good, or who is not going to help me, okay? Because that's what you're in a relationship with, y'all there to help each other, okay? You, I'm not gonna be in a relationship where it's, oh, it's 50 and then you giving you 20. No, we, we not doing that at my big old age. So like I say, prioritizing relationships, that's really important. Also making sure that you set boundaries and if, setting boundaries and then if, if you telling somebody no stand on that 
mean business. No means no. Don't go because simple fact that if you're always telling the person yes and then you finally tell them no, they're gonna feel some type of way. So no means no. Setting your boundaries. If you need your space, make space for yourself. Prioritizing relationships. So get meaningful people in your life that's gonna mean something for you. Y'all, y'all meeting together. And that goes with friendships or relationships. That's right now in my life, at my age, that's very important. If I do come along and meet some friends that are genuinely good friends, which I haven't really, I have not been able to find. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have not been able to find it. But at this point in my life, I, I'm not looking for it. It happens. And especially when it comes to relationships, if it happens, it happens. I am at my age, I, I'm content and I'm happy where I'm at. Now let's talk about career and passion, your career. So right now I, I work as an HR director. That wasn't always my passion. What was always, I got a couple of things I always saw myself doing. I always wanted to be a registered nurse, which that didn't fall through. And then I always wanted to be either a flight attendant or I like being a YouTuber. I really like being a YouTuber. If I could get to the point in my life where I could be a full-time YouTuber, I would take it. But I say go for what makes you happy. If you are in a job and it makes you happy, do that job to your fullest extent. Be happy doing that job, but always go for what makes you happy. So I'm a full-time well, not full time. I am a part time HR director and I am going full time or full time YouTuber. So this is what makes me happy. I'm content with this. If anything comes into play or if I get a job, which I have been applying for other jobs because I want a second job. But if anything happens to fall in my lap and it come across my way when it comes to another job, I will take it and it benefits me, I will take it. But I wanna say, do what makes you happy. If you're not happy staying at a, a job that's not making you happy and they're constantly bullying you or it's stressing you out or it's messing with your mental health, find you another job, replace that job because you are replaceable with the, when it comes to these jobs. I know from experience, you are replaceable. If the job is not happy with what you're doing or if they know that you're moving on, they will replace you. If something happens to you, a job will replace you. So do what makes you happy to your fullest extent. Like I said, I'm 41. I'm going to do what makes me happy. Regardless if, it's, if I had kids or not, I'm going to do when it comes to my career, what makes me happy? I can't just do everything for everybody, to please everybody else. I have to do what makes me happy and I expect you to do what makes you happy too. Let's talk about financial wisdom or fi finances. So, I'm gonna be honest. I still am learning. I'm still trying to get it together. It seems like everything needs this or I have to pay this, I have to pay this. I still need to get my finances together, credit together. I still need to save money at my big old age. I don't have it all together. I'm still learning. I'm still trying to get it together. And I know finances and credit is a big thing because you need credit to get the things that you want to have. So that is a very important thing. I feel like you don't need to overspend if you don't have it. Pay your bills. So make sure you set money to the side to pay your bills. I am also trying to get to a level of independence where I, you don't want to have to live paycheck. That's not a good feeling. You don't want to have to live paycheck where everything seems like it's just going on bills and you don't have nothing else to be able to go out there and buy clothes for yourself. Go out there if you want to go out to eat. I'm still learning when it comes to that. And I'm pretty sure there's somebody out there who can relate to what I'm, I'm going through. I'm still learning. I'm still trying to get to a, a level of in financial independence where I ain't got to depend on nobody. I ain't got to worry about, I'm gonna pay this next bill. I'm still learning. I'm pretty sure plenty of people out there can relate. Let me know in the comment section if you can relate. So let's talk about what I don't think that enough people talk, talk about. And let's talk about, I'll say, self-care slash mental health. Now, mental health is a big, big one for me. That's an extremely big one for me, 
when it comes to mental health because like say i don't want nobody around me that's going to bring me out of character especially when it comes to said family friends any type of relationship you encounter mental health is very very important to me i'll put that first before anything else um, and i feel like anybody should put that first your mental health that's a part of self-care mental health is a big part of self-care putting your mental health first and i feel like anyone who is feeling like they have mental health issues you need counseling because i seek counseling I, I talk to a counselor at the va for my mental health issues or mental health problems that i have because sometimes you just feel like you can't just talk to any old body or talk to family and friends and i just feel like that is a big part of who i am mental health is i, I that's very important to me because like i say i put my mental health first i put self-care first and i don't like to be around people or no one that's going to bring me out of character because i know how i can get i can take it too far and i ain't trying to take it too far i just stay my distance a lot of times if i could tell y'all how i really feel about a lot of people you'll be like girl you crazy enough about all that but mental health is very important i think you should prioritize mental health to its full extent if you feel like you need to speak with somebody don't be ashamed to go out there and speak with nobody when it's regarding your mental health because i know i don't i'll let a, my mental health therapist know they'll get an earful for me if i have any type of issues that and self-care like i say is very important so last but not least i believe we are in number seven <laughs> last but not least we're gonna go talk about adapting to life's challenges Ooh. And let me let me scoot up for this i have over the past couple of years i have had a lot of challenges balls thrown at me but what i want to say to that is you ain't gonna be able to break me you, you can't break down somebody like me that's not gonna break me down because at the end of the day i'm gonna still live my life i'm gonna still be who i am so something like that is not gonna break me down at the end of the day you know what I'm saying? So I've had a lot of obstacles and challenges thrown at me. People thinking that they can you know, shut me down or, or it's gonna stop me from being me. No, at the end of the day, I'm gonna still live my life. And that's why I'm saying live your life. You have to live your life and live your life to the fullest extent. No matter what the circumstances are or what the outcome is, you still have to live your life to the fullest extent because if you die today or tomorrow, then what? So, say I'm gonna live my life to the fullest. I was gonna live my life to the fullest if I had kids or not. Like I said, life, life is gonna have its challenges. It's gonna have its challenges because you wasn't put on earth just for things to be easy. If it's easy, then you just God's miracle child. But we go through things. I've had a lot of challenges. And at the end of the day, I just talk to God. If this was meant for me, it meant for it to happen, then it's gonna happen. But at the end of the day, things are wrapped around. But I will say this, God don't like you doing ugly things to their children. Karma is a beat. So at the end of the day, you got to be careful what you do or what energy you put out here. Cause you don't know what somebody will throw back at you. So I'm gonna leave it at that. But if this is the type of content that you enjoy, say I'm James Etta, you just call me Jamie, and let me know any type of life challenges that's been thrown at you, or let me know if you enjoy this type of content, and I'll see y'all on the next video.